Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this chapter on factorization. We shall start by recalling the factors of natural numbers. Then we shall move to factors of algebraic expressions. And, shall and then we shall then discuss, discuss the method, method of, of factorization. factorization. We have already learnt in previous classes that if we can write 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6, then 2 is a factor of 6. And similarly, 3 is also a factor of 6. Let us take a natural number, say 30 and try to find all the factors of 30. Then the method we used to follow was we start with 1. 1 into 30 is 30. Then 2 into 15 is 30. 3 into 10 is 30. Then it is not completely divisible by 4. So 4 is not a factor. But 5, 6 are 30 and 6, 5 are 30. This is a repetition. Hence we stop here and we get all the factors of 30 as 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. Also we can notice that here 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers and hence 2, 3 and 5 are the prime factors of 30. To start with the factors of algebraic expression, let us consider an algebraic expression 5xy plus 3x. Then 5xy is one term of this algebraic expression and 3x is another term of this algebraic expression. Let us consider the term 5xy. This can be written as 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y and we have already studied that 5 is one factor of 5xy, x is another factor of 5xy and y is another factor of 5xy. We can say that since factors 5, x and y of the term 5xy cannot be further reduced or factorized, so they are prime factors. In algebraic expressions, instead of using the word prime, we would use the word irreducible. So we would say that they are irreducible factors. We understood that if we had to find the factors of 5xy, it is 5x and y. Similarly, we can also find the factors of 3x. It will be 3 and x. But what if we have to find the factor of the whole algebraic expression? To do that, we will have to factorize this whole expression such that we can write it as a product of factors. So let us see what we can do. We can see that x is common in both the terms. So let us try to write it as x common then what remains is 5y plus 3 which is actually x multiplied by 5y plus 3. We can see that both the terms are not further reducible or they are irreducibles. So we can say 
that x is one factor of this algebraic expression and 5y plus 3 is another factor of this algebraic expression. Hence, to factorize an algebraic expression, we try to write it as product of factors. These factors can be numbers, algebraic variables or algebraic expressions. And this breaking up of algebraic expression into factors is called factorization.